Salute, Coach Fleming here. I'm back and this video is gonna be both for 52 blocks and for hybrid boxing. Now you may wonder why I haven't made videos since November of 2022 and that's because I've been sick. I have a chronic lung disease that bothers me from time to time. It hasn't bothered me for years, seriously. Uh, but uh, in November 2022, I caught a pneumonia and with my lung condition, that's not a good thing. So I was hospitalized uh, and uh, I was uh, on oxygen and uh, my infection numbers were through the roof. So they kept me for a while. And once I slowly got over uh, this pneumonia, I started working again for four days, then I caught pneumonia once again. So it put me down a second time. And that's why I haven't been posting videos for a very long time. Now I'm back and I'm planning to post videos again. And this video is going to cover always maintaining good position. I always hit Bob and he keeps coming back for more. Why is that? Short answer, he likes it. If you like this video, you should come back for more too. And the best way to do that is just a quick as a one, two, hit like, hit subscribe. It actually helps the YouTube algorithm and that helps me to make more videos for you. And as you are enjoying this content, don't forget to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it with you. I appreciate you. Here's what you have to do. Okay, here we go. Always maintaining good position. What does that mean? For me, it means having a balanced stance, having your feet under you, having your hips under you, uh, being balanced all the time and protected all the time. And today, my focus is going to be on the elbows. Always maintaining good position means that your elbows are protecting you and keeping you ready to deliver your own offense. And no matter if I'm taking a classic boxing stance, a Philly shell, or a peekaboo boxing stance, or even a wrestling stance, or any other stance, my elbows are not going to change that much. So as you can see, if I'm in my boxing stance, my elbows are protecting my body. The minute they start leaving the body like this, like this, then my body opens up for body punches. So I want my elbows in. And now I'm protected for body punches with slight rotations. I'm very safe. This is my classic boxing stance. Elbows in at all times, always maintaining good position. Now, if I change this, this stance to the filly shelf, as you can see, my elbows are still in protecting me. It's the same thing. And if I change to the peekaboo stance, my elbows are slightly towards the middle, but still protecting me, still able to position them where I want them. And in a wrestling stance, my elbows are still in. I never want wrestling or boxing or anything. I never want to reach. I want to use footwork, footwork to close the distance. I don't want to reach to get my opponent. The minute I reach, I open the body up and I open up for other things that I'm going to show you for grips in wrestling and uh, grappling. So uh, my elbows are tight. This keeps me safe and enables me to deliver. Of course, when I deliver, my elbow, my elbow leaves my body, but I'm not keeping it out here. It's back instantly. Boom, boom, elbows back to neutral, to protecting me. That's what I want. And uh, the body punches are obvious. That's uh, protected now and not protected now. That's obvious. What is less obvious is how does this apply to grappling? Now Bob 
Bob doesn't have any arms. I'm gonna try to give him give him an arm, sort of. It's not ideal, but you can see this arm. Of course, Bob wouldn't wouldn't be standing with his arm off here. He would probably have it here, or something like that, but still with a gap. But the minute you have a gap, the body punches I already talked about in grappling, it allows me to go under, getting under hooks. It allows me to overhook his arm. It allows me to arm break his arm and get body locks and stuff like that. So even in grappling, you don't want to reach. You want your arms here and then get your grips from a position of safety with your elbows. So always maintaining good position is having good mechanics, having awareness of where you're putting your limbs and always being balanced, always being protected. And that's important in all combat arts. And today, I just want to focus on keeping the elbows tight at all times, no matter what's your style, what's your objective, objective, what's your goal. So elbows in, this also helps keep your hands up. So it's a good sound principle. I know this was a short video, but it is, in my opinion, a very important video. And remember this phrase, always maintain good position. So never be tempted to, to reach, never be tempted to keep your arms out like this. I say never, you should never say never, but if you are going to have your elbows leaving your body, you have better know what you're doing and you have better be superior so that you are not putting yourself into danger. Always having a sound foundation, defensive, defensive foundation allows you to get your offense off with no fear. So maintain good, posi good position at all times, elbows in, no matter what your style. That's what I want to convey to you today. I hope you could use it. This is Fleming from Denmark, aka Coach Fleming, aka Coach Magic Burley, saying salute. <laughs>